all brush our teeth at least twice a day. Well, what would happen if you just stopped altogether? I mean, cavemen did it and they survived, right? Join me, Veronica, for Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's petrifying pest, teeth. Here. The moment where you decide not to brush your teeth just so you can get out of the door faster. Big mistake. Scientists have found over 700 different types of bacteria floating around in your mouth. Although most of them are good. But we're here to talk about the bad bacteria called plaque. Plaque feeds on sugars and starches that you eat. Sugars and starches are found in a wide variety of foods. Like this breakfast cereal. There you are, enjoying your cornflakes, when you don't realize that you're feeding a big bad bacteria in your mouth. Once you've eaten that sugary, starchy cereal, you need to get rid of any leftovers before plaque over here can have its own breakfast. If you don't brush your teeth, then plaque can start having a feast of its own. <laughs> plaque is bad news, because if it goes unchecked, it begins producing acid that causes cavities in your teeth. Acid that is burning holes in these pearly whites. Yuck. So here's Plaque, and he's just eating all this delicious food that you left behind just because you didn't brush your teeth. The longer you let Plaque gorge itself, the more stronger it's gonna get. Soon enough, it's gonna become Super Plaque. That's me. Super Plaque is much harder to get out of your mouth, and soon enough, it produces tartar. Still not enough to get you to brush your teeth? Okay, Gary Gross Mouth, here's what we have for you. Johnny, tell him what he's won. A brand new gum disease. Named periodontitis, this disease will cause loose, painful, and rotten teeth that will actually fall out of your head. Fun for the whole family. Okay, so I guess you're just some weirdo who doesn't mind losing his teeth in the most painful <laughs> way possible. But what is it that is in your mouth that's winning the fight against plaque? Toothpaste helps fight bad breath and uses fluoride to stop tooth and gum disease in its tracks. But really, the star of the show here is the toothbrush. Does most of the cleaning by removing leftover particles and lingering bacteria. So it's obvious that brushing your teeth, although annoying, is worth doing. Kissing is disgusting. I mean, call me a killjoy, but did you know that kissing passes millions of bacteria between kissers? Yeah, like I said. Disgusting.